question for all you ladies out there. When was the last time you flirted with your husband? I say it like that because my wife is at home watching TV on our storm <laughs> snow day uh, right now. Our guests say flirting is important to building a strong marriage and they've got a list of creative ways to help you do it. Mark and Susan Merrill are marriage experts and author. The authors, they have written companion books for married couples, list to love by for busy wives, list to love by for busy husbands. Good to have you all with us Thank here on the show it. today. Thanks. All right, so you all have got several lists. You've got companion yeah. uh, books dueling, here. Dueling, dueling, books. dueling books. Right now, I've got the one for busy wives. Meryl has the one for busy husbands. We're gonna switch after the show on that, but let's talk <laughs> about this list. One of the ways that you say that we, one of the things we need to do, I guess, is, is flirt. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. It makes marriage fun. It's what you did in the beginning before you got married, so keep it up. And keep it's so it important up. when the storms are rolling in like uh, they are yeah. today. <laughs> you got to lighten things up, and, up. Uh -huh. and just have some fun in your relationship. Oh, yeah. ah, important. So there's the flirting aspect of it. Uh, you also say give him some chatter. What does give that mean? Give some chatter. So, you know, um, especially when your husband's kind of bowing up in front of the mirror, you want to let him know that you notice. So mm -hmm. give him some chatter. Hey, mm -hmm. looking good, looking real good. I like what I see. It just makes him <laughs> know you noticed him. Uh, and it's, it's important. And also, you know, I not only do it with my words, but I'll write little kind of uh, sticky notes and post around. Like recently, I'll have to confess to you, recently on our gas He's stove. He's very corny. On our gas Don't stove. Don't be this corny. I wrote, I wrote, I wrote I have gas and you are hot. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, give him the chatter, give him the look, and give him the look in front of the kids. Uh -huh. Then they just go gross and he gets all bowed up like, yeah, my wife. That's <laughs> right, that's right. All right, so what about the tease? The tease, okay, so this is really fun. Um, have you ever been to a banquet where it's going on a little long, it's a little boring? <laughs> yes. You just kind of grab his hand, because mm -hmm. you don't, you can't look at your phone, that would be right. Weird. And you know, you just write a little few the notes in the hand, kind of tease him or on a plane. What are you, you writing me? Whispering <laughs> in his ear. And it just lets him know that you're thinking about later. I like that. Uh -huh. Give him the tease uh -huh. that you gotta deliver later. Alrighty. But when you're trapped so. somewhere where you can't really deliver, it's wicked fun. Yolanda, you're, I know you're watching right now because you're home on a storm day. Are you watching? <laughs> but now I kid my wife at this particular point, but this is a two-way deal. The two-way deal. You're just I, on the, the husband. Book. I've yeah. got to do it the, uh, the opposite right. way as well, right? Her That's way. Right. Uh -huh. So you got to get the guy's book and redo it her way, not, okay. oh, not his way. This not is his, his way. All right. So we've got the tease, but creativity. Creativity. Mm -hmm. So it adds interest to your marriage. So for example, in our house, and this works with your kids too, mm -hmm. um, I love chocolate chip cookies. So I've developed this acronym L-Y-L-A-C-C-C. -C -C. I love you like a chocolate chip cookie. And I do it I write it in fun places, on flower, in flower, on the counter, in lipstick, on the mirror. I just write L-Y-L-A-C-C -C, and it lets them know, stuff it in a note in their socks. I'm thinking about you mm -hmm. and, and crea I love Creativity, you. sometimes I'll just pull out my smartphone and I'll turn on our favorite song and just grab her and just dance, dance. a little bit in the kitchen. And dance. Oh, okay. Whatever, whatever <laughs> is your thing, find it, make it a tradition, do it. Uh, I see my wife asked me how, do, how much do I love her and I always say it's like a big kid loves cake. There you go. There you go. <laughs> there you go. There you go. All right, so creativity now, give him a romantic night. You know, mm -hmm. Relationships take investment, and if we don't invest, we lose them. Mm -hmm. And so you've got to plan that time out where you reconnect, find something you like to do together. The, Mark wins to me the most romantic night out, and it was so simple. We didn't have a lot of money. We bought a house, we're renovating it, so we really didn't have any money. And he got set up a table in the dining room in all the construction, no electricity, put candles, picked up dinner at the grocery store, blindfolded me, brought me over, and we had a romantic dinner in our new home that was a hot mess, uh -huh. but is ours. First awesome. dinner ever with us together. Awesome, awesome. Life. Great tips there now. <laughs> the mirrors are going to be back with us in the coming weeks. Yeah. They're going to talk about how to affair proof your marriage. But in the meantime, you can find List to Love By for Busy Wives, List to Love By for Busy Husbands, wherever books are sold. Another weather update is on the way. Stay with us.